he as an artist is at that level where he understands that um, he can't have an amazing piece of art and touch millions of people because Shinedown literally touches millions of people without feeling insecure. Hi, I'm Charlene Anders. I am a creativity coach who specializes in working with singers. And today I want to look at an interview with Brent Smith, lead singer of Shinedown, and do a quick analysis of just a few sentences um, that are very, very rich in terms of creativity coaching and what it means to be an artist and to live your life as an artist. Here we go. When I walk into a studio and it's time to do the vocals, um, you know, my guys have joked with me over the years. They're like, you love to just bring a shovel to vocal day. Um, <laughs> so you're just digging yourself a hole, man. You're going to um, have to do this song 18 yeah, million times. Night, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, the thing about that is, is uh, to be totally honest with you, it's never been easy. Yeah. Um, and if it was easy, I wouldn't do it. Um, I... I If you watched some of my videos, you know that I like to talk about making meaning, and this is what I'm going to do here as well. Because Brent obviously forces his life to mean something by demanding a certain kind of work of himself. Um, you might call that uh, worthy work or deep work. He says, if it had been easy, I wouldn't do it. So he demands of his work, his art, to push him. Um, to push him out of his comfort zone. And uh, to quote one of my favorite YouTubers, your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. Brent doesn't settle. He doesn't say, uh, okay, I've reached like a certain level. Uh, I'm good here. Uh, people like what I do or enough people like what I do. He also doesn't say, okay, uh, I'm doing it. I am a singer. So that's enough for me. And I'm pointing that out um, because there are a ton of creative people blocked in one way or the other who say something like, all I want to do is work. Please let me work or let me be able to work. And that is fine when you are at a certain level. Um, say you are buried in your day job and the responsibilities uh, toward the people in your life. So you might think or cry out, actually, if only I could work. And and that work can be anything. It can be it can be singing, songwriting, writing, acting, painting, whatever it is. Um, so you you take the next step and you establish your daily practice because daily practice is everything. But as soon as you start working on a regular basis, you will notice that it is not enough to just do the work. It, you you have the need to do something more to to do to do worthy work. Sorry, I always get a little bit excited when I talk about this. <laughs> um, so if you're not willing to work deeply, then your your art will, will get boring for you. And you can actually turn that around because when your art bores you, that is an invitation to go deeper. And what Brand does very actively and very consciously, I might add, by bringing that shovel with him on vocal day. He is inviting anxiety into his life. Um, he says, I'm going, to let I'm going to make my life harder by demanding a lot from me and my voice. And by saying that, he's opening the gates to anxiety as well. He, as an artist, is at that level where he understands that um, he can't have an amazing piece of art and touch millions of people, because Shinedown literally touches millions of people, without feeling insecure. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I think that there's a reason why, like, it's one of the reasons why I still get, I, I am massively nervous um, when the lights go down and yeah. before the curtain drops, um, it's usually in my mind, I'm like, just get to the first chorus. Yeah. Mm. This is his way to manage the anxiety that he invited in, talking to himself in this manner. Just get to the first chorus, calming himself down. And also, um, please notice that he is not saying something like, oh, don't be nervous everything's going to be fine. 
he acknowledges his anxiety. That doesn't mean that he allows it uh, to make him step away from this from the stage. However, he just says, "I am massively nervous. Let's just get to the first chorus." That's quite clever when it comes to self-talk and dealing with anxiety. Once I'm once I'm at the first chorus, I start to kind of settle in. But I would be really, really concerned if I wasn't nervous. Like yeah. it lets me know I'm alive. Yeah. Um, and then you um, I'm gonna throw a platitude at you, but bear with me. Uh, in order to create, you must be alive. And I don't mean that in the sense of, okay, my heart is beating and I'm getting enough oxygen. You must come alive. And the second you do that, anxieties will enter your life. So that means if you want to create, you must be willing to feel insecure, uh, to not have all the answers like beforehand, right before you start something. In short, you must invite anxiety into your life. And simultaneously, you will have to uh, learn techniques and find ways to manage it. Fortunately, there are a lot of techniques uh, to do that and you can go through them and see which one or which ones are working for you. And um, anxiety actually has at least two sides to it. There's, there's one that stops life and that blocks creativity uh, it cuts you off from your creativity. But it also has a positive side. And um, Eric Meisel, he describes that positive side as the, um, the itching that accompanies a healing wound. And I really like that image, like that itching, it's still uncomfortable, no doubt about that. But it is actually a sign that creativity is happening, and I consider that a good thing. Um, and that's actually it. <laughs> that was just like one minute of this interview. And isn't it amazing how much information and insight we got into Brand um, as an artist uh, from those few sentences? Um, but my original thought was to look at the whole interview, but that would probably take me like two hours. So, um, what I'd like you to take away from this video is, uh, or from, from, from what Brand says, is part of a meaningful life is meaningful work. And you need to figure out what constitutes meaningful work for you. Um, you can also call it deep work or worthy work. And once you've figured it out, demand that from yourself. And be aware that this demands opens the gate for anxiety. Be prepared for it and uh, know how to deal with it. And remember that anxiety is a good thing in this case. Um, there is a saying that says that that uh, goes something like this: um, Fear is the feeling that accompanies me on my most exciting adventures. And you can rephrase this um, into: Anxiety is the feeling that accompanies my most worthy creative work and if you view it like that it is quite possible to enjoy anxiety i hope my observation and analysis is of value to you if it is please leave a like and please consider subscribing to my channel for more information like this um, if you know someone who would benefit from the information in this video feel free to share it you can reach out to me on social media we can sing together on small or chat on twitter and um, thank you for watching